Hello friends, how are you? I hope you are good. In the last video lecture, we have seen the syllabus given by NMC for first year MBBS students. So, theory we have seen, now today we are going to see the syllabus for MBBS first year practical syllabus. So here, the section A is given, the qualitative experiments are there. For this, the first will be test for monosaccharides. So, the student has to do the test on monosaccharides means the reducing sugar. Then, they have to do the test for disaccharide. The test for disaccharide means test on sucrose. Then, the osozone test for glucose. Osozone student has to perform the osozone test for glucose, lactose and maltose in the laboratory. Then, you must know that the test for polysaccharide, the fourth experiment will be for the students to do it in the lab, test for polysaccharides. Then, precipitation reactions of protein. Already we have seen this precipitation reactions of protein. We have discussed already. Then, color reactions of protein. Student has to perform color reaction. Different color reactions of protein has to be done. Then, normal constituents of urine. The students should do the normal, find out the normal constituents of a given urine sample in the laboratory. So they should find out what are the normal constituents of urine. Then abnormal constituents of urine in the examination, urine sample is given to the students and they have to find out the abnormal constituents which are present in the urine. For example, urine sample is given for the examination and glucose is added and protein is added. So you have to find out which abnormal constituents are present in the urine. Then spectroscopic examination of blood pigment is to be done in the laboratory. It means that the student has to perform the different hemoglobin derivatives on different wavelengths on different wavelengths the hemoglobin derivatives are seen so in the spectroscope so you must know then these are all become qualitative experiments now the second part is known as quantitative experiments student has to estimate a perfect amount of the given parameter means the estimation of serum total protein albumin so you must know that the estimation of serum protein total protein albumin and globulin and ag ratio is to find out by the students in the examination then estimation of blood urea estimation of blood urea means find out the amount of urea present in the given blood or serum sample and the estimation of serum bilirubin. Bilirubin is also a yellow pigment which is related with the liver and it is the normal in 0.1 mg percent to 1.2 mg percent that the student has to find out the amount of bilirubin which is present direct bilirubin, what is indirect bilirubin and the another quantitative experiment is estimation of serum inorganic phosphorus. The amount of phosphorus which is present in the given serum should be find out by the students in the laboratory and ultimately this question can be asked in the examination also. Estimation of serum uric acid. The uric acid you must know it is very important non-protein nitrogenous constituent so this is estimation
estimation of serum serum uric acid is also important estimation of serum creatinine estimation of creatinine the amount of creatinine is present in the serum is to be find out by the students in the laboratory and this creatinine is a non protein nitrogenous constituent and it is totally related with the reading of the blood urea if the blood urea increases serum creatinine is also in fine found in increased manner in the body then estimation of serum cholesterol level you must know serum cholesterol is one of the important parameter in our body and this cholesterol should be measured or calculated or estimate in the laboratory the normal range of this cholesterol is 145 mg per cent to 250 mg per cent so you must know that it should not cross the normal range if it is crossed cross the normal range then uh, this is can occur there known as cardiac disease so you must know the heart disease is can occur due to the elevated levels of cholesterol so you must know the estimation of serum alkaline phosphate this is one of the important enzyme which is present in the body the estimation of this enzyme becomes important because if the elevated levels are found then there can cause a number of diseases in the body then estimation of serum hut and hgpt means these are the transaminases these are the enzymes hgot serum glutamic oxalic acid oxalic acid transaminases serum glutamic pyruvate transaminases so these are the transaminases which are present in the body in the normal manner generally hgot is found in elevated manner in the cardiac disease in the heart disease and hgpt is found in elevated manner in the liver diseases then estimation of serum amylase estimation of serum amylase is also one of the important parameter to find out in the laboratory this parameter is related to the pancreas if the level is increased then the pancreatic disease can occur there in the body now we'll see some demonstrations so yes we have seen a and b section now in this b section estimation of csf is there that is cerebrospinal fluid analysis of csf is to be done in the laboratory in which we have to do estimation of csf protein estimation of csf glucose so you must know that the how to find out the proteins and glucose from the csf you must know that cerebrospinal fluid is present in the vertebrae uh, vertebral column section c is here the section c is meant for demonstrations students should know the demonstration of colorimetry what is colorimetry the measurement of optical density of different color solutions so here the colorimetry is a device on which the optical densities are measured so you must know the demonstration of colorimetry then ph major colorimeter ph measurement means you have to find out the ph of different fluids on ph meter then flame photometer is a device by which the student can find out the amount of the electrolytes which are present for example sodium and potassium magnesium different electrolytes can be find out or the amount of the electrolytes can be find out on flame photometer so this name is given here flame photometer because there will be a small flame for the experiment so here the chromatography is the distance traveled by different amino acid on which the amino acid can be find out so the amino acid is so and so the name of the amino acid that electrophoresis electrophoresis demonstration will be there the migration of charged particles from anode to cathode so you must know the electrophoresis is a device where the amount of the charged particles the migration of charged particles takes place so these are the demonstration for the students 
and this are very helpful as in short form in the examination also. So friends, if you like my discussion on the syllabus of first year PDF, give some comment, share it for the student and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon also. Thank you very much.